celebrate today 21 years in a federal prison. That's the sentence for former Detroit contractor Bobby Ferguson. The judge blasted him today in handing out his punishment for the Detroit corruption scandal. Our investigators have been on top of this case from the very beginning. And our Team 7 coverage begins live in the newsroom with Heather Catalo. Heather, 21 years, but it's less time than I suppose he could have received. That's right. We heard from a very different Bobby Ferguson today in court, just like his friend Kwame Kilpatrick. He had to fight back tears several times when he spoke to the judge, but she made it clear it was time to pay for his one-time stranglehold over city contracts in Detroit. Calling him the catalyst of an unprecedented extortion scheme, Judge Nancy Edmond sentenced Bobby Ferguson to 21 years in federal prison. Ferguson got seven years less than his longtime friend, former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. Both were convicted in March of racketeering, bribery, and extortion. Federal prosecutors said Ferguson may not have been mayor, but he was the muscle and the money man, forcing other contractors to cut him in on lucrative city deals. Judge Edmonds told the 44-year-old that the pay-to-play atmosphere of corruption during Kilpatrick's administration forced many people away from the city. The judge slammed Ferguson for obstructing justice, both during the FBI investigation and by submitting a falsified document during the trial about the work his company did at a massive sinkhole. Ferguson's daughters and his soon-to-be ex-wife held back tears as he spoke to the judge in a sometimes shaky voice. Ferguson choked up when he told the court that today, his sentencing day was also his wife's birthday. Meanwhile, Ferguson's attorney Gerald Evelyn argued his client should not be made a scapegoat for Detroit's problems. And it's very rare that a defendant in a criminal case, when he's, when he's given the chance to speak, says something about other people and doesn't say anything about himself. He never asked Judge Edmonds to do anything for him. The feds wanted Ferguson to get 28 years like Kilpatrick, but Evelyn had asked the judge for no more than 10 years. Myself and Ms. Van Dusen and Mr. Rattai, we, we put our heart and soul into this case. And so uh, it's obviously troubling. Some people will say that it could have been worse, uh, but the reality is that it's still significant. Ferguson did not apologize, and he made no admissions when he addressed the court. We got an appeal and we got another trial. So, I mean, you know, th he's not going to make those kinds of statements. And I, I thought that Bobby spoke from the heart and he didn't ask for anything for himself. Ferguson, of course, is still heading to trial in a separate bid rigging case in January. That's also why you did not hear a public reaction from the prosecution today. But as for the Kilpatrick corruption case, here's the breakdown of a sentence for the racketeering conspiracy convictions, as well as the extortion convictions from those multi million dollar city contracts. The judge gave him 20 years. She gave him one additional year for the bribery conviction, which was that $75,000 payment Ferguson made to the Kilpatrick Civic Fund. So, once again, 21 years in prison for Bobby Ferguson. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. A big sentence, Heather. A question for you. The judge also mentioned after uh, she handed down that sentence that Ferguson should take some anger management classes. Why that? Well, she said he had a history of hot-headedness, citing his past convictions, including a pistol whipping incident. It will be up to the Bureau of Prisons, but she did recommend that he be put into an anger management program if they decide it's necessary. All right, Heather, thank you. And our team coverage continues with investigation Investigator Ross Jones, who has more on Ferguson's dramatic speech to the judge. Glenda Bobby Ferguson walked into federal court wearing handcuffs and a smile. During the entire hearing, the disgraced contractor seemed completely at ease. For the first time in Judge Nancy Edmonds' court, the man known as Kilpatrick's muscle had something to say. Just after 10.45 this morning, Bobby Ferguson walked up to the court's lectern with a Bible in his hand. How are you doing, Your Honor, he asked. I honestly don't know what I'm about to say. From there, Ferguson launched into a nine-minute speech that at times sounded angry and showed no remorse. In America, it seems like genocide on black people, he said. I'm not trying to make this racist. I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm trying to understand the America I live in. The American dream supposed to be prosperity, liberty. Just don't seem that way anymore. I don't know if it's ever been that way. No, I had no idea he was going to speak today. Just like he told the judge, he wasn't sure he was going to speak. He originally had planned to say nothing. And then, uh, 
because of some things that happened this morning before he came to court, it just changed his mind. Ferguson spoke about a young man he met minutes before his hearing who had just been sentenced to 20 years in prison. They put me in a holding room. There was a 19-year-old black man. He knew who I was. He said, good luck to you. I said, no, luck don't work here. And it's very rare that a defendant in a criminal case, when he's, when he's given the chance to speak, says something about other people and doesn't say anything about himself. Before sitting down, Ferguson read a Bible verse and thanked God. I want to thank the Lord for all he's done for me. And, Your Honor, I just want to pray. Bless the words you're about to read. Just before 11 a.m., Ferguson sat down, bringing his Bible with him. He looked at it a few times while the judge handed down his sentence. He's at peace with it. He's, he's at peace with it. He made peace with the sentence before he even, he even got sentenced today. Ferguson is known for having a temper, but he never once raised his voice to the judge. One thing he made very clear today, he doesn't think he has done anything wrong. Well, and thank you for your descriptiveness inside your blog, because yeah. cameras are not allowed in federal court, so we weren't able to see Bobby Ferguson or Kwame Kilpatrick, for that matter. So what does he look like? Ferguson looked like a different man almost. Okay. I'm not sure I would have recognized him if I saw him on the street. He lost a ton of weight, maybe mm. 30 or 40 pounds. So he's been in prison now for seven months. Yeah. Clearly had a very big effect on him. Yeah, so the appeal will come. That's what happened next. Yesterday with Kwame Kilpatrick, they talked about possibly a Texas prison so he could be closer to his family. We don't know yet where, and we don't know if that's going to happen for sure, but any idea yet with, with you, Ferguson? You would expect he'd want to be around here because his family is, is around here. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a safe bet he'd probably want to stay in Michigan. And he's got that upcoming trial, another yeah, one. That's so true. I know you'll be on top of that as well, Ross. All right. Thank you so much, Ross.